Now, let me say this. Let me say this and let me be clear because we're about to get started and this must be said. Books alone cannot save you. Books alone cannot save you. Books act as a catalyst for knowledge. Your rational, logical thinking mind is constantly trying to undermine what you people think is something that's just going to occur naturally in you because you have melanin. That has been shut down because you are out of practice of it. It has atrophied and doesn't know a way back because you do not even have a climate of your reality that you think of. This has been lost to you. And in your public school training, everything that's in you has been taught to you through the look, through reading books. You are now conditioned and trained in that reality. The same way you didn't know how to spell, and all of a sudden, because you've been texting so much, I bet you all of your spellings has become better than it ever was. Because you use a muscle now. We went to school, we flunked our spelling test. How do you spell anywhere? Uh, any a, a, is a compound word? You didn't know that shit until now. Because you have learned and been conditioned. So we have learned, first, let's be clear. How did we get knowledge? We got it through the griot, through the speaking. There were no books. So what books were, was storytelling, you foolish mules. Then because there was no more storytelling, what would then happen, they wrote it down in a book as a story called mythology, you mooks, called mythology. So the knowledge was encoded in story form because we were used to getting or receiving knowledge through a story in Africa. So then mythology was the next step. <clears throat> and then as we created these fake ass universities and these fake ass scholarships in these universities, we have crafted our minds to learn through a intellectual or a scholarly way of receiving information, period. Listen closely. Receiving information. There's a black thing. I could see that shit. Which one am I pointing to? I like it's a bird outside. No, it's, you can see it on the camera, but you can't see it. Magic. It's Khadijah Met. <laughs> Khadijah Met. All right. So we have now, through these fake universities, have crafted ourselves or have conditioned, or even let me say, or you can say yourself, have been conditioned to learn through a book knowledge but understand this knowledge is only step one there's wisdom and understanding so the argument is we don't need books it comes from within the camites knew it which doesn't mean you know shit but let's pretend that's what that means the camites knew it so we shouldn't need books but the problem is you don't have a a climate or a catalyst to pull out that wisdom. If you don't know what you're going for, how could you go for it? The books are the leftover stories and the stories white people are telling your story. Let me say it again. White people telling your story because they have no story. There's no alternative. There's no white occult and black occult. There's no white story and black story. It's all your story told in mediocre lies, blown out lies, bullshit attempts to try to be what you are, but maybe not make it. But nevertheless, 
your wisdom and understanding pulls back from the false or 30%, 60%, 90% truth that you may find in a white author's greatest and sincere understanding, but his lack of melanin in his greatest attempt is still you that must fill in the blanks. That, But you need some sort of map or blueprint to even fill blanks in. You have none just saying, I know it because I have melanin and I'm black. This ultimately, in this portion, is the wisdom aspect where the information you took, no matter how accurate or how much more you have to make accurate, based upon adding your Negro understanding to it, it still needs to go through the process of wisdom. That you got people who won't take the knowledge. The white man wrote it. That shit ain't me. We didn't get it from books. Whatever fucking lazy excuse they have not to research their own sciences, not to understand self on the level where, in this particular time, self is being explained through books. We may go back to stories, and one day we may just go, ding, I remember. And your pineal may blow up the size, you know what I'm saying, of a fucking a cassava melon. But until that fucking time, you're going to have to get the knowledge where it's at. The knowledge is nothing more, these books, sperm. If you bust a nut on the floor, it's on the floor, and these books mean nothing. So you got masturbating ass niggas who don't want to do nothing but tell your ass that they used to, the Camites did it so they should be able to do it. Meanwhile, they're punched in at Wendy's. You feel me? They're punched in at fucking Wendy's telling you how deep they are. But then the studier researches it to get a climate and an understanding or at the very least a clear picture of how the ancient man thought to line your thoughts up with that form of thinking which has been missing with you to bring you the wisdom to bring you methodology in activating the shit that these niggas saying that they can activate but don't activate at Wendy's would you would you like onions on that yes I would they that's the greatest they got for your ass but they're telling you all of this shit about bad mouthing knowledge because it's what they refuse to do. So understand, let me be absolute clear. You do not rely on books as the be all the end all, but they are the beginning of expanding your thought process to, to have something to be wise about. Don't be wise about Camites from before that you never knew and don't even fucking know if any of that shit's true. All speculation. They knew how to fly. You've never seen one fly. You know, you got to be real with that shit. So perhaps, and all, all signs point to yes, but what's absolutely clear is your ass ain't flying nowhere. You flying on the highway so you don't get you don't get that you don't lose that job at Wendy's. Hamburgers got to get done, nigga. Hamburgers got to get done. Don't play with me, nigga. Do not play. So when you hear that argument, oh, we don't need books, then they don't. But ask them what they know. And they'll just repeat some shit Bobby Hemmett said. That's real. That's real. But the expanded thought person is going to use this as sperm. The wisdom aspect is the divine feminine. It's the incubation. It's represented as the birth, uh, the birthing process. Gestation. What is it? Gestation. You say, oh, uh -huh. you're supposed to say, don't. Oh, that's the word. You just like, uh huh. It could be a fucked up word. You could just say, uh huh. It could be a fucked up word. 
I was like, isn't it just gestation? He's like, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. That's it, nigga. But yeah, the gestation period. That's it, right? That's that's the wisdom process. But you need stimulation for that process. Not just I am that I am. You need stimulation for it. So the books are not the end. You don't read the book and you're there. You read the book and it should inspire or stimulate the wisdom process. The hmm. And then you compare it to that which you know. You compare it to other things you've read because you should read more than one book on the subject. And it should come down ultimately in the end before it's born into whatever was in that book is now mine. No longer the author. You don't hear me repeating the author. The author may say some profound shit because he studied and I'll repeat what the author said. But in the end, that information is my bitch. That's the process. And when it becomes my bitch, third process complete. Understanding. I took knowledge, someone's information. I took it in. I chopped it up. I edited it. I made a new song internally. And when I'm singing it, it's mine. It becoming mine is the use of that book. Just me reading the book and and keeping whatever was in the book is stupid or is the first level because those are people who just repeat quotes and, and say lines all day. But when you become your own individual monster, it becomes, well, let's look at it this way. My shit's from books and I could talk to you for five hours. The niggas who say they don't read books got five minutes for your ass. And they and really they ain't talking shit. They just talking shit about black people. We need to do this. We should be doing this. And as the people, we need to do that. That's just civil rights movements, nigga. And you need to really get you need to really get that in your head. That's civil rights shit. You feel what I'm saying? A nigga that could tell see, because they if they're doing all this special shit at Wendy's. I challenge them or anyone who speaks this bullshit. I challenge you to come up with half the shit I told niggas from the inside to do through my whole tenure as speaking since 2004. I've given out more, mo- more methodology in occult science of what to do. I won't be arrogant and say anybody. But but I'm in the top five. Let's look at that. And there's only really two or three occult niggas. So I'll say it modestly. And that's just facts as facts. So I'm telling you, I study books. And I'm telling you, I went internally and give it not only what I've done internally, I've given out more internal shit than you will than the nigga who said he doesn't read will ever do. And I challenge him, we sit and go back to back. I could give out shit that I remember eternally that you ain't never heard before. It ain't in no books that's come through the wisdom of expanding my thought. So that's what we're doing today, folks.